Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup video is yet another makeup inspired by flowers. I'm just, I'm obsessed and addicted to flowers. Can you blame me? Probably not. So today's flower that we're going to be inspired by is this super weird guy. Look at this texture. It's kind of crazy. So if you guys are interested to see how I'm going to create a look inspired by this super weird flower. We're also going to look some stuff up, learn about it a little bit. So if you guys are interested in any of that, then continue watching. So here is what this flower looks like. It's pretty bizarre, but it's also super, super beautiful. Like I, I don't know, every time Apotheca has these, it just draws my eyes and they're always like crazy amazing colors like this one is obviously like a purpley pink and then it has like peachy orangey yellow like zigzaggy lines it's beautiful i feel like in the viewfinder it sort of looks like <laughs> like a weird broccoli um but in real life and i don't know maybe like on camera it will look like this when i'm editing but it looks like a brain. So when I looked up this flower, I actually typed in brain coral flower <laughs> and it the, the correct thing popped up. So it's called coxcomb flower. It says commonly named for the red variety similarly colored to the coxcomb on a rooster's head. So I guess it's that's why it's called that. I've always known it to be, oh, it's celosia. Celosia? Celosia. So Celosia is a small genus of edible and ornamental plants in the amaranth family. The generic name is derived from the ancient Greek word, I can't say it, meaning burning, and refers to the flame-like flower heads. Okay, brain Celosia. Whenever I worked at Apotheca, I knew there was a name for it that was that had something to do with brain because that's how I remembered it, was like, it looks like a brain. So it does say it's also known as either wool flower or brain celosia, which I think is what I remember it as. It says that the leaves and stems are edible and often used in stews, apparently. The leaves have a soft texture and taste like a mild spinach. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this just seems like a super chill kind of flower. Like it says it's super easy to grow. Like people love it because it's a bunch of different colors of it. Yeah, it just comes in a bunch of colors. And then it also grows like as like a long, like skinny pointy flower too. I guess that's a different type of celosia. So anyway, pretty chill flower, but pretty magnificent to look at. So with the facts portion out of the way, we are gonna get started. I don't even know, I have no idea. So I'm just gonna pull you guys closer and we're gonna get started. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I, I feel like I start this off so nervous every time. And also saying, I have some ideas. Which, again, today, I have some ideas for this. So, I think I have some palettes that will have some similar colors. But what I also have is this, I don't know how to say it. It's like Mehron Makeup Palette. So, this is a professional face and body makeup palette. So, you kind of just put water into it and, and then it turns into like, you can like paint it on. Um, I got this to do some more like bigger full face kind of like sort of special effects makeup don't call it that but that that's the initial idea for this palette so I have this hopefully this will help me to get some textures I also have some like little paint brushes for it because I feel like this needs texture I mean it, it is texture basically this is the definition of texture <laughs> so with this flower I do think that the like main color is this like pink purpley color so I think I want to kind of start with that, do my base with this like pink purpley color and then maybe we'll paint on some texture. What I think I'm also gonna do is sort of like, instead of doing like a traditional like, you know, eyeshadow like blend it out towards my like brow bone and stuff, I think I wanna do like a wavy line. Instead, okay, did you guys ever see the like wavy eyebrow? that kind of a thing but not my eyebrow like I want the eyeshadow to be like have this like wavy line at the top so so okay I think I'm going to dip into this palette this is one of the ace beauty palettes it is called nostalgia just beautiful palettes okay the like packaging for these is like amazing so I think I'm going to dip into this pink and this like more maroony color. And I'm gonna do that on this like flat rounded brush because I want to create that like wavy line at the top. When I hold up the brush to the actual flower, it looks like maybe it's the same color, almost. 
We're gonna get started. You guys ready? Okay, so I'm gonna switch up the brush because I want like a teeny tiny little brush so I can control it a little bit more. Okay, I did forget. Uh, but I am going to start with my MAC Paint Pot to give myself a nice clean base. Now we can get started with this freaking pink purple. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> All right, amazing, amazing, yes, amazing. It looks like a pink cloud or something. Oh my God. Okay, so I was just trying to think about what I wanna do for like center of my lid here because we obviously have nothing there right now. But I think I'm gonna do another like wavy layer like right underneath. Maybe what I'm gonna do actually is use my face paints to kind of outline this and then this with this like orangey color that the zigzag lines are. So again, this is what the palette looks like. So I'm just gonna mix these two together, maybe a little bit of this to hopefully create that peachy color. These are very like primary colors, like harsh primary colors. So I really hope that I can get this like soft, like cute peachy color with this, but okay. So I got this color. I feel like that's that's cute and that's uh, hold on let me show you guys again what the like zigzaggy lines look like so they're very like orangey right so what do we think of this color for the zigzag lines I feel like it's pretty close fix it with that same brush that I was using before with a little bit of the same color. I absolutely love. I, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't need to hit this, it's pretty faint. I am going to outline this bottom wavy line and then kind of see how that looks. So this is where we're at right now. I love, I love it. It is so weird looking. It's so cool. Like, cut it up. That looks amazing. So I think what I'm gonna do now on my lower lash line is I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try <laughs> to paint a leaf. You know, just because they have these leaves on the lower like bit of the stem here. So I feel like it would be cool to do a leaf on my lower lash line. Ah, I think I'm gonna fill it in. See how that looks after. This looks like lemonade and that is dangerous for me because lemonade is like my favorite. All right, I'm gonna fill it in with eyeshadow. All right, I might be mixing a bunch of greens together to get this leaf to look good. 
So I might mix this like olive green from the At Forest Sight Raw Beauty Christie X ColourPop palette. So I might mix a bit of that. The freaking Lizzie McGuire green might come in, but it's kind of a line, so I'm not sure. And then along with this like blue green. But we're gonna start with the green from the Raw Beauty Christie X ColourPop palette. All the greens listed above, that's what's on my eye, all right? So that is what it's looking like right now. I love it. So I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of like a green yellow from this face paint palette to like do some, you know, leaf veins. Okay, so this is where we are right now. I need some tinier paint brushes. I thought these were gonna be good, uh, but even this is way too big, especially for <laughs> any kind of detail that's beyond the level of like a kindergartner on this leaf. Okay, so this is where we're gonna end it. So what I just did was my brow bone here, like right under my brow and against this wavy line. I added a bit of this color from the Liz McGuire palette because like when you see this flower up close, it almost has like, like the waves almost look, not metallic, but they definitely look kind of shiny in a way. And it's like a silvery, peachy, kind of goldish color. So I feel like this color from the Liz McGuire palette worked really well. And it's this one, it's called a bub eye. And that is where I'm gonna leave this eye for now. So I'm gonna go off camera, do my other eye. I'm gonna match it right up to where we are on this eye and then we'll come right back to you guys. All right, you guys, we are back with what is in my opinion, my best flower inspired look so far. Like I know we've only done like what three, this is the third or fourth one. Doesn't matter. This is the best one by far, in my opinion, at least. I mean, I really love last week's, but this, <laughs> it's amazing. It is so, so pretty. Yeah, I just, like, I just, I just, I just can't, I just can't believe it. So off camera, I did finish up both eyes and I matched them basically as much as I could. Uh, and then I put on some falsies on top and then I also like cut up a lash and put two like little single bits on the bottom, like on the outer corner. And I just, I know that that has nothing to do with the flower but it just feels planty for some reason, like them hanging over like the leafy part. I just feel like it looks really cool. And I like, I don't know, I just like it hanging over the leaf. It, it for some reason, like looks kind of planty to me. So that's basically all I did 
off camera that you guys did not see was I applied some lashes, mascara, and then these little falsies on the bottom. Oh, and then I lined my waterline with one of the ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christie like eyeliners, the green one. So yeah, guys, this concludes our look inspired by Coxcomb or Brain Solosha as I like to call it. It looks like a brain. And it's my favorite by far. I love this look so much. You guys, I almost didn't even like film a makeup video today just because I've been feeling kind of overwhelmed and consumed by things, but I'm so happy I did because I feel like it just came out amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's flower that today. <laughs> if you guys are interested, to... so today's flower that we're gonna be interested by. <laughs> Nervous. All right, so that's where where we live. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Watching it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>